ready? Yup. Let's do this. Yep. Let's do this. Hey y'all. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? Thank y'all for joining us. I'm here today. Okay. We got to talk about this snowfall, y'all. Oh, we gotta right. talk about this snowfall. We are here to do, of course, live discussion. Okay, about season six, episode seven. Ooh, a lot of things went down. A lot of things went down. Come on in, come on in, y'all. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the den. <laughs> what did y'all think about this dad on um episode? What would y'all rate it? What did y'all think about it? Put it in the chat. Let us know. But um, yeah, Moochie, what you thought about this one? What you thought about number seven? Was it hitting? <laughs> it was, look, it there was some um Easter eggs in there, y'all. Y'all gotta be paying attention to things. Um, even though this was a filler episode, there was much communication and things going on in there. Um, I did enjoy the episode as usual. Uh, I I like. I like uh I like the fact that um Scully was able to help Louie out. I love that part. He mm -hmm. had to get get her to get that hate out of her. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so you know. Um yeah, I would give it an eight too. I'd give it an eight. Uh you know, Scully got it was telling her how she gotta get that hate out of her. And mm -hmm. you know, we know. We, you see, Wanda's leaving, so we know that she's not gonna mess with the crack again. That was a good move, but mm -hmm. now we're getting this news. Tamika done sent me some stuff last night where they talking about she having a spinoff. So is Leon? Yeah, gonna I don't be in know a why they released that before the why season they was over. It now? Yeah, they couldn't mm -hmm. hold that, right. Cause I kind of had a feeling she was gonna make it. I still feel like, um, you know, <sighs> feel like our boy, um, is, um, you know, most likely not gonna make it. Oh, God. Yeah, but I was happy to see her put her sobriety first and put herself first in this situation. I felt like that conversation should have been happened between. Why am I not remembering his name, y'all? I'm having the worst brain fog right now. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> With um, Wanda's man. Oh, Leon? Leon. Why well, I can't I remember his Leon name? For me. <laughs> look, look, I know something wrong with you because you usually be on point with your name. So, yeah. Come on, I'm, having no, I'm tired it. today, y'all. Y'all have to forgive me, but I, I knew we had to come to and still discuss this, but. Yeah, Leon, I feel like his state was filled, you know, kind of like, you know, it's, we know what's going to happen with him more than likely. But I just also felt like that conversation should have happened a long time ago with them. And even when Sissy says to her later, I thought that was going to happen a couple of weeks back, too. And I'm like, maybe had they moved with having those conversations earlier, then we probably would not have had. You know, them going through some of the stuff that they went through in the projects. That could have avoided a lot of that, but it is what it is now at this point. So definitely. So, like, it's got me thinking what's gonna happen with Leon. Is he gonna be in the spinoff? I hope he's in the spinoff where he decide to walk away and help her with that center, but then he be dealing with people and knocking niggas off and knocking niggas out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, gotta we gotta see. It don't really tell you much of what it's gonna be about. It's gonna kind of, I think, go into the 1990s and what was happening there. Um, and it's supposed to be some new, um, you know, of course, main characters. So it should be interesting. I would give it a chance just to see what it's gonna be talking about. But I definitely wasn't expecting that, and I felt like they announced it a little too soon. I agree. Hey, Monique Nicole. Hey. Let's see yeah. everybody that's in the house. Yeah. LSW, thank you for coming through. I shared What's it on, up, my, on all of my socials. 
Yes, Bonjoy. I see Uncle Clifford in the crowd. I, that's the first thing I tweeted out. I was like, wait, is that Uncle Clifford? And she gave a fun fact on Twitter saying that he played her cousin. Yeah, he played her cousin one. in season two. No, oh, season, season two. Season okay. two. Because, yeah, she was um, like, fun fact. <laughs> yeah, he played He played um Louis' cousin in season two. So hey, this was when we didn't know who Uncle Clifford was. All right? right. Mm -hmm. So now y'all see him now. It's like, oh, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, because I sure enough here? was like, wait a minute. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. What's up, Jeremiah? Thanks for coming through. Hey, hey Jeremiah. Savannah. How are you? Yeah, so I definitely did notice that. I was like, wait, is that Uncle Clifford sitting back there? What's up, Daria? Mm -hmm. Everybody was surprised through. to see him there, right? Rashonda, Noel, thank you all for being here. So, of course, y'all, child, this was a sad episode. I will say that. Um, what did you think about this beginning part with, um, you know, them just coming on and bringing Jerome body and all of that. I, you know what I liked about it? Franklin, the way Franklin handled it, because now it's no cops involved with this. Yeah. So this flew under the radar. They don't have to worry about the police coming and questioning them at the, and things of that nature. And you see Louie, even though she's kind of mad at him, she still fell in line with, with what he was doing. But I like the way Leon was the buffer and kept mm -hmm. basically them two separated. Yeah. And 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 it was just this was heartbreaking. Yeah. You, I ain't gonna lie, I can't stand Louie no more, but she acted her behind off with this part. I was like, ah, when she was calling his name. Yes. She really but did. She 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 did an excellent job. She did an mm -hmm. excellent job. But she, when they do a job like that, when you start can't you when you can't stand them, she's mm -hmm. doing a superb job because right. you're 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 growing not to like her. So mm -hmm. yeah, and, and Franklin is and, you, and um Damson Idris is doing real good too. So absolutely, they yeah. they both doing an excellent. Yeah. This was he a was good. Just, episode as far as with emotions and all of that stuff mm -hmm. oh thank you we appreciate you uh -uh. <laughs> cool. just a dynamic duo you know? the house you mm -hmm. two really do cover a lot of content and do great work i appreciate you thank we you we appreciate you we try baby we be putting it in that's yeah, why i'm so tired today baby <laughs> I need a, a day of relax, relate, release. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she definitely put in the work. And, of course, you know, Leon um, brung her home. And I think that's when he things stayed really with start. her, too. So I like that part. I like that he stayed with her. Um, her face, man. Yeah, she looked jacked the heck up. And she looked in that mirror. I said, I thought about man in the mirror, Michael Jackson. Like, do you see what you need to see? But no, she still didn't. <laughs> no message could have been any clearer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't like the Louis character, but this Oscar worthy work what with this cast. Facts, oh, absolutely. Noelle. They be acting their behinds off. I mm -hmm. agree. I agree. So now, what did you think about this whole um, scenario? You want to break this thing down with this Zag on Teddy? Hold on. Let me get my notes. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me get my notes. Look, you know what, what, what? Um, You know, when she walked in there with that belly, Julie, I was like, oh, shoot, she pregnant. But, you know, I remember, keep in mind, y'all, she did tell him she met somebody and she was getting mad. Or she told him she met somebody. He gonna look at her like, well, when did this happen? Well, when did this happen? Come on, you done took Franklin money. And now that she's telling him, look, give this dude guy his money back. Um, He's trying to act like, oh, he got an ill will case. Are you serious? So he's really like headstrong on keeping, keeping Franklin's money. And um, it's not a good look because now you not only you putting your son in danger, you putting her in danger and her new baby of her um, you know she's pre she's a pregnant woman now. So yeah, she told him the only good thing you ever did for me was um 
give me my son, our son, and now you, you know, put him to in take jeopardy, him away basically. from me. Yeah. And but she he, ready to expose him. She was like, if you don't do it, like she telling him some real talk. Even um Parissa had to be like, I don't like her, but I know that she not lying with what she's saying. Mm -hmm. A public execution, she said. She want to mm -hmm. give him a public e execution. And you know what? Rightfully so. Yeah. I hope I, if, if he doesn't do what he's supposed to do, I want him to be exposed because mm -hmm. they're going to try to flip this. And make, exactly. make make Franklin look like the angry black man, even though he is and he has a good reason. But nah, he, he shouldn't get away with the scot-free. I don't want him getting away with the scot-free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is ridiculous. And we know he ain't going to do it, even though she's giving him the best possible advice mm -hmm. that she could give him with this situation. He's just out of freaking control. Seriously. Yes, definitely. So this part now, I you know, like I said, Louis acted her behind or but when he had to come and tell Sissy, that's what really I like. I felt it for Sissy. Yeah, because she that's her like, baby brother. Mm-hmm. She already knew it was something wrong. She just could sense it, but she wanted that confirmation from him because she was just as calm, like, okay, so. You know what I'm saying? Leon is with Louis, so where's Jerome? And he just shook his head. I was like, oh, it was like not a lot of words, but it still came across so strong. Mm-hmm. And then she when she's like, she's with she's with Leon, not Jerome. And when she when he said that, it was just like, wow. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay, um, I was gonna say you gonna go to the comments. Teddy yeah, is a perfect Teddy example. Teddy is a perfect example of privilege. <laughs> Absolutely, what is? Mm -hmm. Louis didn't realize it could have been avoided if she would have just left with Jerome. Exactly, and that kills me because it seemed like that part still never came to her. Mm hmm. Mm mm mm. Sissy hey, is not the same. No. Mm -mm. Nah, she's not going to be the same. Now she's really going to want to go after Teddy. Yeah. Because now her brother's gone. Now, you, and, and, and it, it was just, Wanda looks scared there where she's like, I know I got to get my man out. I know I got to get my man out because this is getting real ugly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when she went to the morgue to see him, and Franklin tried to touch her. I was like, ah. Yeah, because she know that he could have prevented this. And they had that talk. And then he wanted to act froggy with his uncle. And um, it, it could have been diffused. But I wish, sometimes I wish Sissy would have went to that meetup with them too. Yeah. Because I feel like she probably would have made things happen. Yeah, at that point, you know, she tried to leave it up to them, I guess, to kind of have that man to man sit down. She went to, you know, him and spoke to him. She went to Jerome and spoke to him. But I don't know. I just felt like it was too far gone. Maybe if she could have been there and been a mediator, it would have made a difference. But, child, unfortunately, we we are what we are. I, I can't say that I enjoy seeing Teddy being shook, not knowing which direction he was going to go in. I was getting real enjoyment out of that, even though I still want to see more happen to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. Um, At this point, she was still, I think this is when she was just still kind of trying to tell him that, you know, I don't always agree with your ex or whatever the case may be. You know, she never been my favorite person, but she got some points. What's really your game plan? What do you plan on doing? And then he was still trying to ask her if she want to leave with this money. It's like, how the heck you keep offering up this money that is not yours? Ugh, this irritates me. She already telling him, look, you better have something for me to do because if you don't, I'm going to get bored and I will find something to do. To, to, um get into mm -hmm. okay so I, yeah, I agree brown pretty i can see it in sissy eyes that she about to be on demon time absolutely i, I agree yeah. i definitely agree yeah i think that's why she making certain plans so this of course you want to break down this conversation because baby i want to jump across that table for sissy <laughs> oh her louis sarcasm killed me 
where she was like, well, I don't got nothing I care about here anymore. So, I mean, she act like she lost. She's sitting at that table and she act like she lost more than Sissy. Sissy lost her brother and her husband. And I think that when she said that comment, that's when she had like a reality check. And but she still wanted to like like stand on what she was saying and be stubborn about it. And she's like, it's got to stop. We all played our part in this. Everybody hands is dirty. And, and except for the white man. And she was right. She's right about that. And um, I think what she was saying to her kind of got to her. But she's, you know, you know how somebody's still stubborn and they want to hold their ground. I feel like she's going, I ho hopefully she'll have a change of heart with this situation. And it was the audacity for me. I was like, girl, you sit in this lady face like this wasn't her brother that died too. And then want to be like, oh, I just lost my husband. And then be like, all of this is Franklin's fault. I just was like, girl, like, look at this, the part that was really irritating me. I said, she say all oh, this is Franklin's fault one more time. And the fact that Sissy was able to hold that composure and just give her that reminder, like, girl, I lost the husband too. Let's not mm -hmm. forget that. And I lost my brother, you know? Like, I didn't want none of this to happen. This needs to stop. And basically, no one hands is clean, okay? That's why I put it in the tag on title <laughs> of this live, because I was like, it's not. Everybody had a part in it, including you. Nope. You're not innocent. Exactly. And she's like, really girl. trying to play this off like she's like the innocent victim in all of this. And you're not. You back to your nephew mm -hmm. and then you refuse to even kind of help him out. Y'all separated or things of that nature. But I, I just I, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I know it was I know Franklin was wrong by his approach and pulling a gun on her and stuff like that. But she's the one that initiated the beginning of this whole feud yeah and she don't want to take no part in it and literally that was um, jerome's whole argument with her mm -hmm. before he ended up getting taken out and you still not getting it so what did you think about this conversation between leon and um franklin for one thing i could say Leon is a real friend, honey, because it'd be hard to borrow twenty dollars, and he over here talking about borrowing a half a million and don't know when he gonna give it back. And he was like, "All right, like he well, gonna I'll give it back hesitate. to him." They done made money hand over fist. This is mm -hmm. his. This is his day one. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the fact. I, I it was a, a somebody that was really eyeing Leon crazy in the background yes. when they was walking there. And I had a problem with that. That's, that's like a, like, I, I, I hope he's not going to be one of the dudes that want to be the man just because mm -hmm. and try to hurt, hurt Leon. You know, it's going to be one out the bunch. Mm -hmm. Now also when Franklin made the comment about Jerome, and Leon was just standing there looking at him. I was like, oh boy. That too. When he said what he said, he should have never um separated from us. When he said that, broke away from us. He was right, but it was just his delivery and how cold he was about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that um, just didn't sit right. So, of course, she over there having nightmares. And then she get up and decide to drive over to Scully's. What you thought about this? Yo, I wanted I wanted to know where she was going because I thought she was getting ready to try to find Franklin or whatever the case may mm -hmm. be. But she went there and she was about it when she was there. Get your man, Scully! Scully! Yo, that point? <laughs> she came there and it was like Jerome jumped in her the way she was talking. She wanted to sound like a... She sounded like a man. And then when, she, when her and Scully had, had this this whole thing, I was like, oh, I hope they don't hurt this girl. But she was ready to take a bullet. Mm -hmm. She was... And, and, and going back to the other scene with her and Sissy, where she said how much it's going to take for her not to climb down in there with him, she was on a... She was on a mission. On a mission. Mm -hmm. And she figured she tried to come at Scully and Scully people take her out. 
But I don't even think that. I think she really wanted to talk to him. But yeah. I, I'm saying I'm trying to tell y'all at the same time what was going through my mm -hmm. mind. What's your take on it? I ain't hear your take. Yeah, I, I I think she just one is mad. She can't sleep. She having these nightmares. She tormented. I think she did want to talk to Skelly, but she also kind of was having that attitude like, oh, if you're going to take me out, then take me out. You know, Jerome is going to, because at one point, I can't remember whether it was when she was talking to Sissy or when she's talking to um her cousin a little later on, but she says something about like wanting to crawl up in the dirt with him. So on one hand, you know, I think she kind of felt that way too. That's probably why she was asking Scully, like, how did you get through it? You know, how are you not still angry? You're not mad? You don't want to do this? You don't want to do that? And he like, of course I do. Every day. He was like, you got to get that heat out your <laughs> Miss Sharon <laughs> says, I can't understand if Leon has 500000 available um to land why does he want to live where he does i mean listen there's a lot of people that got a lot of money or whatever different material things and they still be right there and you know not everybody always want to move somewhere I remember his whole thought process when he came back was you know taking care of his people and wanda's thought process was we don't have to be there to take care of them we could take care of them from somebody you know from somewhere else so that was actually a choice he made. Yeah, he made that choice, but it's really working on Wanda. And I feel yeah, like Louis is trying to get uh Scully as muscle. Yeah, she gonna secure him as muscle, yeah, she but definitely he's gonna not gonna do him. certain things. She I think. ain't got nobody else she could depend on, and sure as heck ain't Buckley. So and she can't and also she can't um She's securing him as muscle, but the question is, is she going to still be in the game? Mm -hmm. Now, if I, 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 what, what do you think as them being a team? I, I like it. She knows how to calm him down. And in a way, she knows how to kind of control him. So um, do I see this being a team, even though we in the last season? Probably, maybe so. I would want to, I, I would, I wish they would have did something like, but then no, I don't wish that because then Jerome would have been gone. But like, I wish they would have been able to combine together, but mm -hmm. they kind of did because they, 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 yeah. they kind of did. Cause look at how he came through right when it was time to go get Louie. So mm -hmm. he's not where they are with all of this fighting. Cause he exactly. tried to tell them in the beginning to try mm -hmm. to just, just solve this with your family or it's going to end ugly. Right. Mm-hmm. That's true. So just like Louie, Franklin is having nightmares too. He over here having a panic attack. She asking him, is did this ever happen before? Mm -hmm. So even though he tried to act like he's so, you know, I don't feel nothing. I'm just out here doing what I gotta do. Of course, we know he does feel something. And she is trying to calm him down. What did you think about that? Did you see when he grabbed the hammer? <laughs> okay look she's like no 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 you're, yes. it's a dream it's a dream mm -hmm. he's suffering from PTSD too he just saw his uncle get taken out mm -hmm. and it, you gotta look at it like this and someone said it on my channel when we were talking about the trailer breakdown Jerome is more of a father than Alvin was to him even though I'm from when the time he was growing up till his father got crazy with the alcohol, Alvin was a dad. Mm -hmm. But once he did what he did with the Black Panthers and he had all his drinking problems, mm -hmm. Jerome stepped in and raised right. Franklin mm -hmm. to be a man. So, yeah, uh, he is traumatized. He's going to mm -hmm. be traumatized. They did once have a very, very close relationship where he went to him before he went to his mother sometimes. Exactly. So, yeah, I I, I, I totally get this. My my son is close with my brother like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, I understood this all. And, and my son calls my brother Unc. Mm -hmm. So, all of that, I, I was like, wow. I, I could feel the emotions and understand their plight. Right. Tall Glass says he went all the way to Ghana to get 
away and come back and live in the hood, you would think he at least would be someone. I mean, I agree. I'm not disputing what y'all saying because I'm not listen, I remember from the beginning when we started out the season, I really thought because we did hear him talk about Africa before with Avi. So I really mm-hmm. thought it was gonna be a thing of he was gonna be trying to make it out and wouldn't be able to make it out and was gonna get caught up here. The fact that they was already there. And then they came back talking about, oh, we just going to take care of business and gather our money and so on and so forth. As soon as they said that and they came back, I was already like, yeah, no, Leon is not making it out. He pretty much sold his still, you Okay, so you still think he's not going to make it out? I don't I'm, think so. I'm hoping, but now that they said the spinoff thing, it looks like, no. I don't think you know, so. And then honest. I felt like it was foreshadowing. We didn't get there that yet. Mm-hmm. But the part at the funeral when she was telling him how, like, I feel like we've been getting a lot of foreshadowing with Leon. Oh, since yeah. He's been back home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, of course, um, you know, she went to her family and, you know, she. Yeah, that, to... that, I think that's Chanel. Oh, yeah, I remember Egypt, her. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. So, she, wasn't she in the wedding? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Remember, Remember a, couple, a couple, couple of episodes, episodes ago, Franklin had dreams when he was given something about, yeah. Mm-hmm. When he was given, the, it was all on that high from the LSD that Dad on Scully gave them. Oh, you mean when they were um bodies, bodies, bodies? Right. That one? That episode? Yeah. That's good. Enough. Oh, okay. Remember, yeah, so of okay. course she was like cleaning her up and telling her she's sorry and all that. Wait, did I skip too far? Yeah, I did. I hit it twice, or did I not have the other part? I saw you these slides be disappearing because I yeah. actually thought I had the slide of um, of when you know Teddy calls her up, so he's calling her, and of course, she ain't even want to be bothered, and she's telling him she's busy and all that. And he's like, busy doing what? When I call, you come. So she was kind of getting a taste of how he becoming that Franklin and all that. Because the way she acted as if she don't still got an answer to him. It was like he was reminding her, like, I'm the one that, you know, basically gives you the access to be able to do what you need to do and make the money you need to make. And then she still told him what? She was going to meet him at a certain time at the place. And he was like, no, you'll meet me now. She was like, no, I'll meet you then. And she hung up because, of course, he still didn't know what happened with, um, you know, Jerome. Right. I so, like when she said, listen, white man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Can you highlight um LSW's comment? Um, well, um, I'm the told Leon it doesn't look good and he doesn't. And she oh, doesn't, doesn't want. Yeah, that's what I was referring to when I'm like later. It was kind of foreshadowing because she keeps telling him stuff, and he just keep kind of trying to tell her he got it all under control. He know what he doing, but baby, like, do you really? Mm-hmm. So, what did you think about this part? Now, last week, when a lot of people were saying that. Ruben was probably going to run off and that he was looking weak. I kept saying I did not think Ruben was about to go any daggone way. It looked to me like he pressed him even harder now. Exactly. going about it in a different way. He's pressing harder because he had, I, to me, it, it to me, I think that was all a ploy to make Frank, to make, um excuse me, y'all, to make Teddy feel like he was afraid of him. To make mm-hmm. he wanted Teddy to think he was afraid of him. I don't think he is. Um, yeah, I didn't think he was. Yeah, so I don't think he's afraid of him at all. And, yeah, um, that was a bit much. They over here thinking the baby, you know, just crying and like, oh, go check on him. And then he in there, and Gustavo looked pissed. He was really pissed. And but his girl kind of take me off too because it's like now you want to take it serious where you like oh this is getting out of hand but it wasn't out of hand this whole time when Gustavo Ben was trying to tell you that you should leave you was trying to stand 10 toes down mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. no we gonna wait here even when you knew that the DEA and all this different kind of stuff was involved mm-hmm. so 
now that he came in the house, you over here talking about some, maybe we should go ahead and leave and maybe we shouldn't tell you where we going. And he like, oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Mm. So do you think she going to leave? Yeah, I think she should leave. If I was her, I would. I would have left the first time he said it. Yeah. What the heck? I'm staying here for a shoot. Hey, Kendall M. Hey, Kendall, <laughs> what's up? Mm, that's how. I, look at that look. Um, Gustavo was giving him though. They really got Gustavo pressed up, baby. I know they got him pressed from all sides, yo. Mm -hmm. And he, he's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> It's Louis' fault, says Jason. <laughs> yeah, it is. I agree with you. And she not taking none of the accountability. She's all. not. That's what pisses me off even more with her. But you know what? I'm I'm a I'm a pull up my the, the I got the picture with the the bathroom scene. Let me get that picture real quick for you because that we got to go back and talk about that. We have to go back and talk about that. Just for the simple fact is that when he called. Was you listening to that conversation she was having with um with her friend? Who? Louie. Did you listen at all to that conversation she had with um with her friend when she was in that tub? And she Oh said, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said to me this if you wasn't listening to this conversation now you I have every right to be mad at Louie. I got every right to be mad at her for the simple fact is because the way she said that uh Yeah, I don't know what happened to some of my pictures. Right. I had the I picture of her in the tub and then I had the picture of her talking to um Teddy, but I know they was reminiscing. Yeah, they about, that reminisce conversation yeah. was a big deal to me. And yeah. you know why I say it's a big deal for the simple fact is that um Hold on. Oh, this dog one thing. Now it's twisted. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. That conversation that they had, let me let me just elaborate on that. She said that she's been through this before. And that's because of her ego. Her, her, the the mm -hmm. way she carries on. How did I get here again? Exactly. When she said yes. that. I was like, well, so there was another a first time mm -hmm. with this? So what was mm -hmm. your thoughts on I that? I caught that too. What was your thoughts when she was like, how did I get here again? Yeah, I was wondering what happened. Like, when was this again? When, you know, what happened the first time? Because they were talking about how they used to play a game. Then she mentioned that, of you know, or how did I get here again? I already went through this. And then she was like, the worst part was that she keeps forgetting Jerome's eye. I'm trying to remember. Um, but I know they said a lot in that little span of time, and then that's when, of course, the phone kept ringing, and she's like, "Oh boy, this, you know, Jack behind." Mm -hmm. <laughs> she ain't want to be bothered with um Teddy. But yeah, I, I I definitely caught that part. I was like, "So what exactly happened to you before? Who was this with? Hold you on. know?" Hey, nah, I didn't say everything was so for, but just What's like this like, said, nobody I'm needs to clean. She off, definitely played a role. Where I get pissed at her at is that okay. she acts like it's only Franklin Fork and she had no I was part in it. You and that's you absolutely to, you know, the a restaurant lie. She had plenty of parts in this because she wanted the power. Yeah. She you sound like you eating herself. already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so what? You, I'm not going to see you? So, All right, let's let me know. I'm all right how she seems all right. to get herself in these kind right. of things. Yeah. All right, I got when the picture if you let me share my Korea screen. Or was it before? I don't know. That's the whole thing. I don't know what she meant. By I don't that. think that was Claudia she I don't was think talking so. about. I think it was even before. I that. think it was, I think it was like from where she was originally. Right. Louie's friend was telling her everything she needed to rationale her not being accountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she 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 needs to hold herself accountable for this. Mm -hmm. She needs to hold herself accountable for Yeah, that, that's the part that takes me off. I just can't with that. I don't like people that, you know, you're going to point the finger at me, but you got three coming back at you. Exactly. All the time. Look, I, all the, <laughs> yeah. 
But this was the part we was talking about too with um with um you know Wanda kind of coming in and finally telling him that she needs to go ahead and get out the project. So he's like, You leaving me? And she like, nah, I'm not yeah. leaving you, but I can't be here and be into these things. Like, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, and I and was happy that she said that. I'm glad she's in survival mode. Mm -hmm. Ow, hey Savannah. Mm -hmm. Okay, young nine slim said it's Franklin's fault. Ninety percent Franklin. Wow, that's your opinion. You got the right to it. You got I don't the right agree. to it. You I don't agree. agree to disagree on that. I I, I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. Um, man, I can't believe Uncle Jerome is dead for what? Y'all, we exactly. are still trying to cope with this. Like this, a real death, y'all. That's the crazy part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't need to be dead if he would have got on that plane, but you know, that's not the way they wrote it. Somebody used to always tell me that when I used to get mad as how things went in the mm -hmm. show, they'd be like, Yeah, but that's not how they wrote it. <laughs> I know. Uh, for real. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So then um, oh, there's all see. This is what I was looking for before. <laughs> oh, it came That's up. That's when he was on the dag on phone with her. I'm like, where the heck the pictures went? I, I was, uh, you know what? He he just was like, he's want he wants to meet with her, and she. I, I I'm glad she met with him though. I'm glad yeah. she met with him because he think he gonna get what's he think he's gonna get his way out of this, and I'm mm -hmm. hoping she stick to the to the plan. Right. I mean, yeah, no he way. got a one track mind at this point. And mm -hmm. He was kind of bugging, like, why the heck she talking to me like that? But you know, I don't know, y'all. So hmm. this is when Wanda and um Sissy had this conversation. I felt like Sissy was kind of preparing, like what we was mentioning earlier. Somebody has said it in the co comments that Sissy is about to be on Demon Time. Like sh she looked like she don't care no more. Like what she's saying to Wanda now, I expected her to say to Wanda episodes back when Wanda first came and was like, I'm having a hard time in the projects and all that. But I wasn't expecting for her to be like, oh, take over the whole, you know what I'm saying, censor and run it. I'm not going to be there no more. You would be doing me a favor. I was like, whoa, so what you going to be doing? And it was like the same time that I asked that. Wanda was like, so where you going? What you going to do if you're not going to be there? And she never answered. She just was kind of looking off. You know I'm what? Like, uh -oh. I think she answered. I think she feel like she not going to make it out. Yeah, because she ready. Too. She feel like she ready to take Teddy like she don't care. and risk her life doing it. Mm -hmm. Because of how much he has taken from her. So, yeah. Um, I... I, I She's going to have an apartment, Wanda. Yeah. So, she's going to be all right. The question is, now, I feel like he needs to get out. He needs to just hand it over to that other dude. The dude that was standing with Einstein, I forgot his name. But he's been with him from day, he's been with him from the second mm -hmm. season. So, give it to this dude. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm making the mac and cheese Savannah for the um repass. Yeah, I said I was gonna make some potato salad, but you know what, Savannah? I make the best banana pudding, baby. Oh, Lord. Just, with, soup, the soup, soup, with the vanilla, with the vanilla wafers. <laughs> How with you the, knew? <laughs> with the vanilla wafers. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh -uh. God. Kane tried to kill Louis, Jerome, and Sissy because Franklin. Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying, but. Uh, that, that it wasn't that that was because of Louis. Louis went after um Kane people with with the detective. Oh yeah, Franklin knew nothing about that because remember Franklin resolved that situation with um Kane. Him and Leon went and spoke to Kane, mm -hmm. and they worked things out, and they did. They was doing things on they and 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 I won't even say it was Jerome. It was Louis. And Detective Buckley that that orchestrated all of that, and you can't he he the way he orchestrated it he it was um a half ass job, it was a half job where because of 
you know, this one sniffing on the booger sugar. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know, but these things don't seem to be in order. But anyway, this is when Franklin met up with um Gustavo. Now this part made me laugh. I ain't even gonna lie. Like at first, Franklin was concerned. Like, what's going on, Gustavo? What happened? Talk to me. Tell me, because he was telling him that he couldn't get him all the money right then and there. When Gustavo mentioned D, and he was like, <laughs> he started looking all around. Like, mm -hmm. yo, what the heck you me and me for? Are you talking to the dad? That part made me chuckle. I ain't even gonna lie, because he was trying to make sure he ain't bring them there. What you know, what I'm saying to him now. But once he broke everything down to him, then he calmed down because he had the gun out. Like you talking to the damn DEA? What the hell? Yeah, this was this. I'm glad he came clean and he was yeah. honest with him, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't gotta shout, um, young non slim. Look how he's shouting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He was like, Louis went after K because he tried to kill her in the room. <laughs> <laughs> look, I got you. I got you, homie. So, look, I know he went after them, but in the process, Franklin did try to defuse the situation so it wouldn't go sideways. So, yeah. <laughs> look, don't, you don't got to yell. <laughs> Oh, Trump got indicted for real? Yes, he did, honey. Oh, shoot. I want to see lock him up. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking Look. news, former chair Trump was indicted. You said you feel bad for also? Yeah, I Listen. feel bad for him. But if he would have helped Franklin last season, maybe he wouldn't be in this situation. You ever thought about that? <laughs> Who got the music? What music? Yeah. <laughs> it's a sticky situation. Uh-uh. James bringing ribs. <laughs> All right. you. Oh, uh, James, you bringing the ribs? <laughs> I thought for a moment that Franklin was going to shoot Gustavo after he mentioned. Yeah, me too. I yeah. definitely did. Nah, he I not in jail yet, he is he? I ain't watched the news, so I don't know. Yeah, me either. I used to watch that thing so much. But, um, what y'all thought about this part, child? Because I said, what did this man just say? You know he what said I... the end with the Yes, he did. E-R. But you know what? I'm glad we seen it because that's how they talk about us when we not around. So let's let's put the let's put it on the table. What that what? nigga murdered his father? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, but I, he also said, um, I don't want to hear it. Okay, I don't want to know nothing. I I don't need to hear all the details. All I need you to do is take care of it. Uh-uh. Savannah, you what you thought about Miss that? Crack, very Ron, I ain't heard of all but missing a long time. <laughs> um, what did I think about this part? I think Teddy is treading on thin ice. Mm, he been He's, on it. Uh, don't be surprised if the CIA give him a jab and and take him out. That's what I've been thinking. That's exactly what I think. I don't think um because his Franklin boy don't even feel do anything to him. I think they're gonna take care of them. They take care of him themselves. I want him to get his money. Mm hmm I really do. Because I'm surprised he's been going on this long. Because mm -hmm. he was been rogue. And he's not CIA. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yep. And if also didn't take so long to go to Franklin, he would have probably not even been as in much stuff as he's in. I was been saying for the longest that he should have went to him. He over here thinking Teddy really worked with them and all of that. And I think when that guy told him, like, he's not even with the CIA, that made a big difference to him, too. Mm -hmm. But it was, like, too little, too late, because now he's so caught up in between all these different daggone people. Dude, he better hope he don't become a casualty in this situation. Because if they, they decide to clean this whole mess up... Exactly. Especially if Julie goes and drops... And, and does that public execution she's talking about? Mm hmm. 
Right. So, of course, this is when these two met up in person now. He looked a little shook. He looked like he wasn't expecting for her to say. <laughs> no, it was, that's not funny. But for one, he thought she was, like, it was like if he thought she was supposed to care that he said Franklin killed his father. And two, he looked shocked as heck to find out that Dagon Jerome was gone. He was speechless. Mm -hmm. Because now he know, he don't know what happened. Right. Well, he's, and I'm glad she explained it this way because now he looks scared. Mm -hmm. Because she she made it seem like um Franklin took out his own uncle. Right. And, and I'm I like where she's going with this. I like where she's going with it, even though and I, and I feel like her and Sissy really had like a heart to heart. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna play into this, but. Mm -hmm. You don't know if she's going to be... Yeah, Kendall, he something. was never going to give it to him, even if he didn't kill his dad. I mean, that probably just made it worse when now he wants to take Franklin out. But he never plans on him walking away with nothing, and he don't plan on Louie walking away with nothing either. That's what Franklin and them was trying to explain to her, but she don't seem she to didn't get it. Listen. At the end of the day, Teddy she really think he out here being some kind of superhero. Like now, he, you know you what I mean? mean? <laughs> You know what I wanted to say? Do you remember? We're going to go back to the last episode. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when John Jerome had that conversation where she wanted to get her money? Instead mm -hmm. of them going to Jamaica, they should have went to, went to, to um, where was it, Cuba? Yeah. They should have mm -hmm. went there, got the money, and then went somewhere else. Mm -hmm. They, they could have did all of this, and she could have bowed out gracefully. Right. Mm -hmm. But she's greedy. She got greedy. That's what she messed up. Yeah. I agree. So, of course, we get to this funeral, y'all. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What you think of Big D? Rest in peace, Unc. This was oh, a beautiful wait, service, oh, though. Are we having a moment of silence? Together. Are we having a moment of silence? Yeah. Pray your hands in the chat, please. Pray your hands in the chat. <laughs> Give it up a for Jerome. Give it up for Unc. Unc yeah, I had some um, what's that called? Um, Crown yeah. Royal last week. Okay, mm -hmm. last week and then just passed. Mm -hmm. Had a little poor little out for Unc. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But they did put this service together really, really nice. Now, what did you think? Uh, uh, let me see if the screenshot is still here. Cause it seemed like my screenshots want to disappear. Mm. Of course, that was when she was looking at him and everything. I mean, looking at the picture now. This part was funny. This with Scully. part when Scully went. Yo, that the... was funny to me. He was like, "What the? What the? Yeah, what, was, what that about? was that about? He just was nodding his head, like, all right, you know." I was like, "Wait a minute! I'm telling you, they gonna end up. Um, <laughs> it, 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 you know, I feel like you see how they got together and brought in the cavalry to get Louis." I yeah. feel like they need to all get together and get Teddy like this. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. So we had a couple things that happened at the funeral because it was that interaction. It also was some guy that was looking at Leon funny. Then we had um, Franklin going up to Gustavo saying, like, you know, we moving forward. I got some good news for you. And he was saying something about a plan they was putting together to make him, you know, feel like... Um, He's setting him up or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we had Buckley coming up to Louie, giving his condolences. Child, I want to just... Do she know he lying? That's all I want to know. Is something going to happen to Buckley? Yeah, she, I think she knows he's lying. She knows he's lying because she know her man. Mm-hmm. Cause he And not only that, keep in mind, all she got to do is talk to Scully. Because remember, mm -hmm. he's yes, so Scully that yes. he ain't aging him back. So if, yes. if now that her and Scully's talking, yes. and she it's Scully gonna tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's a good point. Yeah, because I was like, he Buckley looked her right in the too. face and lied. Talking about no, he too. didn't page me. Yeah, Buckley's on thin ice. Because mm -hmm. you know he want Louis for himself. He think now that he got it. He he think th this crackhead really think he got a chance with Louis now, mm -hmm. cause now that Jerome is gone. Mm -mm. Yeah, I was like, is he serious right now? 
Mm-hmm. You said praying for Malcolm too. Yeah, man. Yeah. We, we did a review yesterday yeah, on we that channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, we was on my channel yesterday. So if you have not watched that, please go and watch it. I had I, and it's quick because we was Buck, in and out. Me. I'm with you with that. <laughs> yeah. I agree. She knows he's lying to all glass. You're right. Yeah. Remember last season, Franklin told Louie you wanted to be out in front. Losing Jerome was the piece exactly. for her greed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely agree. So, so okay. Um, yeah, of course, you know, Sissy says her goodbye. Oh man. That, that's who I only one I really feel sorry for, y'all. I'm gonna just keep it real. I feel sorry for Sissy. And Sissy just been trying to keep these people together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody wanna listen to her. She tired and she about to get up out of here. And I don't think she cares no more at this point. No. Um, but yeah, we did. I seen somebody put in the comment. We did talk about the fact that Uncle Clifford was he at the funeral that Sam sitting right behind Louie. And we gave, I was mentioning earlier how, um, you know, she, the actress that plays Louie, put out a fun fact about the fact that he played her cousin. Um, mm -hmm. in Mucci he was in season, season two. Season two. I, I didn't remember, I didn't know she said season one, but I do know she tweeted out about it. Yesterday, because everybody was like, "Wait, is that Uncle Clifford?" Is when she Clifford? tweeted season one, and it's season one, and I ain't right. <laughs> no. I thought she said one, but it could have been possible. Okay, I two. thought it was two because <laughs> I um, was just like, "Oh, okay." I'm like, I didn't remember that because I actually do want to revisit and go back to one again sometime in the future. So it's no, been a minute. Maybe that but... might be one of our next projects. Mm -hmm. hmm. We'll put a vote in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I jumped on this the third season, I think. Oh, no, the fourth season. So, yeah. So, now, what do you think about Dion coming he, up to Leon to make sure that... I wanted to talk about this. I, um, He knows he was wrong. He knows he was wrong. It was a, it was an alpha male fight, and you know, look, you got your ass handed to you, mm -hmm. and I I don't think we're gonna see him retaliate. I don't either. I know he's some not gonna. I don't saying, I don't see him retaliating. But that other little nigga that we saw, that's the one that we might have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Because keep in mind, he was warned about that. When they was like, yo, what you going to do? Because you all over the place. First, you want to be a peaceful. Then you want to be a, you know, you want to be a killer. Right. And, and you, you went with, you went away with a crackhead and you came back with a wife, all of that. So, look. Yeah. I, I think that was like a, a foreshadowing moment, too, because some of the people want to be the man just because. Exactly. And um, he needs to get out of this environment. Um, mm -hmm. I hope. That he has his, I hope the spinoff brings him there where we see a different Leon or the Leon that he was really trying to become when he went to Africa. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be doing anything else. Um, I already didn't feel that way, but to me, this kind of sealed it for me with mm -hmm. him coming up to him and asking him that. Like, he wanted to make sure. And I think the last conversation that he had with Jerome, too, and he probably just like, I mean, you know, we'll see. But because I know some people feel like he's still going to have something for me on, but I don't really think he is. And well, um, let's ask, let's ask the people, what do you, what are your thoughts? Do you think that we might see this guy come back and try to harm Leon? Do you think that we, or do you think he just, he fell in line, you know, took the ass whooping? And, you know, he's out of Dodge. He already took the money. So, look, look at how he's strolling in there with that nice suit on. Yeah, Kendall says, I thought Dion was going to retaliate. But after seeing the combo between Scully and Louie, I'm thinking it might be Scully because of his daughter. Hmm. Ooh. I don't know. Some people been saying that. I don't see it either. But it could. It's not impossible. I, that would be weird if it happens now because to me he could have had it happen in that gunfight and nobody mm -hmm. would have knew what happened. Right. 
That's when I thought it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. but, but they kept them separate. Mm -hmm. And then when they got in the room, it was a different energy because everybody in that room loved Jerome. Right. So now this is when... <laughs> Yo, Franklin is a mess. I'll tell you. This is when Franklin comes up to her. When he said... What he said, what can I do for you, Auntie? What do you need, Auntie? It reminded me of Michael B. Jordan and Black Panther saying, Hey, Auntie. <laughs> That's the first thing that's that sarcasm, you right? Yeah. And she was asking him what made him come back. What did you think about this whole layup? What he what his answer was. And uh I, I liked his answer where she was like, Why did you come save me? And all she had to do was give up Buckley. That's yeah, all she had to do. How, so hard how you? Buckley. How you? That made no sense to me. Yes, um, that's the part I'm not understanding. She was. They wasn't even asking for her man. They was asking for Buckley. Mm -hmm. And 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 Kane wasn't asking for her man for the simple fact is they grew up together. Right. They, he didn't want that to go down either, Kane. Because you see how the conversation that took place. You know oh, this really? don't gotta happen. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so um I didn't see a comment. She said Janard was sitting next to Louis. I didn't notice it. Yeah, he no, he wasn't sitting next to her. He was sitting in the like a couple of seats over from her. Okay. But um he was at the funeral too. Keep in mind, uh, her cousin is with him. Yeah, I remember that. So I remember yeah, that, so but I, I wasn't even paying attention to him being there at the funeral. But yeah. I do remember. Remember, him he was at. Every, I seem like everybody that was at the funeral mm -hmm. at the wedding was at the funeral. Because mm -hmm. keep in mind, she was when she got back to the house, she was opening cards from her wedding. Exactly, they still had gifts there. They mm -hmm. had gifts that they didn't open, mm -hmm. so they ain't even been married. I don't even think they they was married a couple of weeks. This is right. like a, it looked like this is a couple of weeks later. Right. Cause remember she didn't go on the honeymoon. Yeah. Mm mm mm. That's so sad. Yeah, but I like this whole part too. Like I mean, I just said, frankly, you are something else, boy. Like just him saying that part, and then when he was like, you know, my mother raised me good, and I ain't want to see a woman be hurt, you know. So I couldn't live with that. So I came back and she was like, really? And he was like, no. <laughs> I think he was being honest, but he still wants to have that tough experience. Yeah, he's been, well, I'm more so felt like he came back because of his uncle, but it could have been some truth in that part too. Like I said, he tries sometimes, sometimes, I mean, sometimes some of that is him. Don't get me wrong. He gave but sometimes her I feel like he tries to put up, on the extra. Give up Buckley? But I definitely didn't believe when he said to her, Oh no, it really wasn't that. It was that um, you know, I basically wanted to you you made me a promise, which of course was to get Teddy. Mm -hmm. So like now I'm gonna hold you to it. I don't believe that for a minute. Nah, it wasn't mm -hmm. that. It was he it was his uncle because he knew he would have yeah. had to face the wrath of him. Yeah. So we gonna play this Ooh. little clip. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay. You need it? Mm. Good evening, pumpkin and spice. <laughs> that part, I was kind of mad at him for his sarcasm <laughs> because he's just like, hey, auntie. <laughs> like, now you want to call me auntie? <laughs> like, if you don't get oh, out of my face, God. little boy. Now you want to call me auntie? But I'm glad she said, why'd you save me? That uh, that conversation needed to be had. But he tried to warn her. It's not like he could take her out of there at that moment. You think... Hey, let me ask you this, Tamika. Do you think that Kane would have let him walk out of there with her? No. 
Even if Buckley came, do you think that? Mm. If all she had to do was give up Buckley. Yeah, I didn't understand her holding on tight to the whole Buckley thing. That just, I didn't I don't care if you grew up with him. Right. That didn't make no sense to me. Now, I could see if it was Jerome. Yes. Then that would have made sense. But I was like, you really going this off for this dude? And at the end of the day, when Jerome over here paging him, he busy getting high on the daggone car. Like, girl. Mm -hmm. And going off to a third galaxy. Mm -mm. (laughs) Mm-mm. That didn't make no type of sense to me. Um, Moochie, you had something here you wanted me to? Oh, that, well, that was earlier. You don't got to show it. Oh, wait. SJ got two comments. I ain't even see. Mm. Uh-uh. <laughs> he said, kill them all except the two w- that went to Africa. Franklin's baby mama. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> You just want to take everybody out, SJ. That's um from when they was in the tub when they had yeah, that Kane was definitely um watching for Franklin's reaction because I really didn't get the point of Kane even calling him there to be honest. Yeah, he and he him did. There, that I was like, what the heck you calling him there for? To see his reaction, just mm-hmm. like Kendall said, to see what yeah. kind of rise he was gonna get out of him, to see if he was gonna be like a turncoat and and but he. <laughs> He had to he had to go in with it. Mm-hmm. This is why I said Louie gonna catch him getting high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could definitely see that. Yeah. So um we've been here about an hour. So yeah, guys. That was the episode. So what did y'all guys rate this? What did you rate? You said a, a eight. I said an eight. Yeah, I would say about an eight. I, to me, this was kind of like a build-up episode, set-up episode for what we about to get into. I think eight is going to go down, 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 baby. Okay? <laughs> what about nine? How many episodes is it supposed to be? Ten. Ooh. But that, that preview for eight is looking heavy, so. Yes. No, I give it about an eight. And so I'm that I think by the time this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like this: by the time they see Teddy, I think Teddy really gonna think he gonna take Franklin, but I it's a real risk. You know how um Teddy be taking out people with them damn needles. Mm-hmm. So the question is, look, he was getting ready to take Gustavo out with that needle, right? Mm-hmm. So um. Is Ruben going to be involved with this or what? Because Ruben want to just lock everybody up. Yeah. Because they was even talking about locking up Franklin. Mm -hmm. But now that Franklin told him the operation, basically, do you think that Franklin's going to walk away from this? I don't think Franklin is walking. Listen, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I wasn't really expecting for anybody to walk. I said maybe Sissy was walking. <laughs> That's what I was saying. And I'm me. even worried. About, I'm, I'm, at and this now point, I'm worried about her because exactly. she don't care about nothing no more. Facts. So I don't know, y'all. But we're going to definitely see what's going to be going down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, nah, because... Um, Uncle Jerome is dead. Okay, I can see that. Yep, we got three more to go. Kendall said an eight. Yeah, I I, I I give it about an eight. Well, SJ I gave think it, a it nine. was a nice little setup for what we about to get into. Ellis mm-hmm, mm-hmm. said an eight. So do y'all think that um as far as Louie, because I'm assuming that it's gonna be Louie, hmm. Louie going to be acting like she's helping Franklin to get Teddy and acting like she's helping Teddy to get Franklin. But which one is she really going to go with? That's going to be the big question, I think. And it looks like everybody's going to be involved in one way or another, like the DEA, the KGB, Teddy. <laughs> it's going to be a hot mess, y'all. So I'm, what about? Do you think Gustavo's making it out of this? I don't know. You know what? To be honest, before I didn't think he was making out, he may make it out since he's helping Teddy. I mean, helping Franklin now. I think he have a better chance with Franklin than he has had with any of these ABC agencies, okay? Because especially that DEA, they was about to get him killed. And Franklin was ready to kill him. So I feel like Franklin is his best bet. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I, I, I'm, I'm, wor- I'm really, 
I'm really, at this point, I want Franklin to get out, but the question is, now that he's, we are we going to, let's just talk about the trailer breakdown for the next episode. You got Veronique, she, he's sending her on some plane. Mm-hmm. Now, I still don't trust her, y'all. Thank you. I still don't trust her. Thank you, Kendall. I still don't trust her. Um, I don't know about this woman. Yes, please, y'all. Hit the like button. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yes, subscribe. I'm trying to make my way up to 700 and then on to 1,000, y'all. She is trying okay. to get monetized, y'all. Tell a Come friend on. to tell a friend. <laughs> yes, tell a friend to tell a friend. And, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend about Tamika's den, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but um, yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, he's telling. Listen, y'all know since the beginning, I don't believe that Veronique and that baby's gonna live. That's just me personally. <gasps> oh, I don't. I don't, I don't think. Wait, let me find lie. out that plane gonna crash because remember That's we what, we we talked about that before. <laughs> I, I, look, I just don't see her making it air. out. I really don't. But if she do, and she can. You know, get out with some money because maybe Franklin not. Look, I ain't mad at her. I do the same mm -hmm. thing. Just listen. <laughs> but I really don't see her making it out, to be honest, y'all. So this going to gonna be interesting to see who's the last man standing. Mm. Mm -mm. This has been a crazy ride, especially if you've been watching, you know, Snowfall from the beginning. And I know it's certain little things that, we probably would want to see go another way. Not all of us going to be happy. I'm definitely not going to be happy if, if Louis walk away with nothing and be sipping on a margarita on the beach. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. Y'all might get a little rant video from me. No, I, already <laughs> got my, I, got my, I, I still got a rant for her. <laughs> oh, God. But, um, yeah, we talked about that earlier that his wife was saying to give back the money. He's not going to give back that money. And I think I, that I she's going to end up exposing him because she did it once before. So why wouldn't she do it again? I and I wouldn't be mad at it if him. she did. I think that's what Teddy deserves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do think she's going to expose him. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to back. I don't think she's the episodes. FBI. I don't think so. I know some people were saying that. I think she's a very good scammer. But I don't yes. think she's the FBI. But nah, we'll she's not FBI. He would have been busted by now. Yeah. And mm -hmm. all of that illegal stuff she was doing, she was mm -hmm. acting like an FBI agent with with that um lady at the office when they got all of Franklin's um business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We have to. Back watch a couple of episodes when she was sitting on the beach with Franklin, maybe. I don't know. Nah, but that was an episode where they went on and they went on a vacation. Mm -hmm. That that was in real time. It wasn't like a time jump or anything like that. Yeah. And yeah. she's pregnant again. Who pregnant? All again? right, y'all. I'm gonna go eat me something and try to rest for a minute because your girl is tired. Okay, tired. But I appreciate you all for coming through. Thank you, everybody that stopped in the live. LSW Brown Pretty Talk guest. Um, Ken Savannah. Savannah, Michelle, LSW, Pumpkin and Spice, mm -hmm. Young Nas nice Slam, even though you was not agreeing with us, I appreciate you. Yeah, I, I like the debate. So yeah, we're, I like we could agree everybody. to disagree. We're not gonna all receive things in the same way. That's okay. We still got nothing but love. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing but love for you, babe. Let me start. <laughs> James Kelly, that's how I start getting when I get sleepy, y'all. I get silly. So I'm going to rest for a minute. But um, you, what you got coming up on your channel, Moochie? I'm trying to do this thing with um Yellow Jackets, but I think we're going to get on and talk about the, the top thing moments of episode one, and we're going to dive into episode two. Two. So we're gonna do that. I of course y'all know Power Book 2 comes on tonight. 
So, but y'all know, um, we we I'm gonna be getting that together, and I got like my little moments that I want to talk about on about Snowfall. I'm just gonna upload a video, so please be tuned to that. And um, then I'm uh, S- Sunday. I'm gonna be dropping the schedule that I'm gonna be working for the week. So please keep your notifications on. Holla at your girl, and you know if y'all didn't hit that like and share button, hit the like and share button and put me up in that algorithm. Mm-hmm. All right. And... Yes, thank you to SJ Show and Antonio. You know, if I missed anybody, thank you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you all. So we will see y'all Mm-mm. another time. Um, for me, what do I have tomorrow night? We gonna have Love at the Lockup. If y'all, oh yeah, I forgot to lockup, say that. Wow, sure y'all come through. That's gonna be on Moochie Channel. Um, even though we stream on both channels, yeah, we gotta um, talk about um Derek because mm-hmm. child, he done got arrested. Yeah, we gotta get into that, and then um Saturday, I'm gonna have self care Saturday, and what you should be watching. I'm gonna give y'all a breakdown for all the movies. Well, not all, but some of the movies that is gonna be out for April. And the movie theaters, also on streaming services, you know, TV shows and movies that y'all may want to check out. I usually do that every month, so it is going to be that time. So come through and hang out and check it out. I appreciate you guys. Till next time. See you later.